Flow like water. Flow like water. Flow like water. My name is Britt Liggett, and we're here as part of the DYCD at Home uh, filmmaking series this spring talking through how you can make a film in your home for the DYCD Film Festival. And I'm with Ugona Opaloka, who is a TV news producer and has been for the past eight years. And she's gonna talk with us about what that means. So Ugona, can you tell me why you like being a producer? I always joke with people that as the oldest of four children, I've been bossy. I was probably born bossy. And so I think it came naturally to me to be a producer. So tell me, what exactly does a producer do? What are the logistics of the job? I think the simplest way to explain it and the way I explain it to everyone is as a producer, you're either supervising one part or the entirety of a production. So it can be film, it can be TV, it could be events. You are the person who sees all the different puzzle pieces and figures out how to bring it together. Being a producer is all about organization, and you, of course, have come to us as a true producer with five steps for how to create a piece. Sort of break your schedule up into three parts. Think about what you need to do before you even turn your camera on, so in your pre-production, um, and that could be you know, hiring your team, writing your script, figuring out what you even want your film to be about. Then you have the production part, and that is figuring out what you're shooting, where you're shooting, who's going to be involved in that. And then you have post-production, which is putting your film together. The next step you have is actually to build the team. If you are a great producer, then you have an even better team behind you. Are you limited to who's in the house with you? I think one of the interesting things we're seeing while everyone is sheltering place is that there are a lot of tools available to us, digital tools available to us to be able to still work together with a team. So. Think about people that you can include who may, you know, live on your block or even across the country. Maybe they can write your script for you from their home. Maybe they can get on the phone with you and you all can brainstorm ideas on what it is you want to shoot. So your next tip is um, shoot your film. It seems obvious, mm -hmm. but it's probably not. It's important. Like I said, again, organization is key. The more organized you are before your shoot, then the more smoothly it'll run. Um, and the more it allows room for you to have some fun and be creative because you're not worried about the small details because you already took care of those things. So create a shoot plan. It's okay to expect things not to go as planned. Um, and so that's why you have a plan B, C, D, E, F, but always kind of think about like, if this goes wrong, what's another way that we can handle it? Well, I think a lot of people are going to think about writing before all of the things that we've been talking about. So what do you mean by that? Regardless of whether you go into the shoot with a script already done or you're doing your scripting after, it's still important to have that process of sitting down, looking at your footage and picking out what you think were the strongest parts. What do you think went really well? If you had multiple takes of something, which one was the best take? What are things you know for sure you absolutely don't want in your film because it just didn't go well at all. So keep those things in mind and sort of script out what your editing process is going to look like. And then it just makes it even easier once you finally do go to edit. Everyone else gets to go home when the film is done and, you know, live happily ever after, but the producer still has a few things on their to-do list. So usually once you have a finished film that you're proud of in your hands you want to make sure that people see all the hard work that you put into it and so marketing your film is really important um you want to think about what you want the film to be called um you want to think about a synopsis for it like writing up a description that sort of helps people understand what the purpose of your film is what story are you trying to tell and then you want to make sure that you think about ways to get the word out. But what's cool about this is that young people who get into the DYCD Film Festival can send out the virtual screening link. And it's a cool opportunity because you're probably going to have a bigger audience now than if it had been in person and only people who were in the area could come. It's just important that you are smart, that you're organized, that you know how to work well with people. And a lot of you are already using those skills in your everyday and even more with what's happening on social media like the fact that TikToks are becoming 
very high quality like the editing that I see with the music and the special effects and everything like that um, means that you already sort of know how to figure out what a good story is and put it together and tell it in a way that resonates with your audience so definitely lean on those skills and and recognize that you are a producer now whether or not you're doing it for Hollywood or you're just doing it you know with your phone Flow like water. I've been away, this shit feel great, flow like water